Hi, this is Paul Bauer and welcome to this video called Breaking Free of the Restless Mind. This is an issue that I used to struggle with for most of my early adult life and I didn't realize it at first but the issues that it caused in me rippled across literally every part of my life. So we're going to talk about what is the restless mind and what you can do about it. My own struggle began with the feelings of anxiety and I didn't know really what the anxiety was even about. I felt stressed in literally every part of my life, especially financially. I was unhappy in my career, but also it started spilling over to other parts of my life, like my relationship and how I felt about myself, even in my athletics. But something happened, and it just dawned on me when I was processing and feeling and just kind of like noticing and studying, and that is our nature is to be at peace. That's something that we sometimes forget. We often forget this. It's our true nature to be at peace. It's built into you. It's who you are. The restless mind doesn't know what it's like to be at peace because it is not what creates it. And yet, something seems to disturb that peace. So what is the restless mind? It's the part of us that thinks repetitively over and over again. Thoughts that turn into feelings that just keep cranking out. They just keep repeating themselves. And it's a part of us that won't let go. And it tends to focus on problems rather than solutions. So what are the signs that the restless mind has kicked in within you? Well, one of the first signs is you start feeling anxious. Something isn't quite right. You start feeling tension in your body. And there's that stressed feeling. But when stress begins to build up over time, then it begins to turn into feelings of overwhelm. That's a clear sign that the restless mind has taken you over. Now what brings it on? Questions like, what did I do wrong? Why can't I figure this out? How do I get more? How do I get rid of this? Why does this happen to me? These are all examples of what the mind starts chewing on, in other words, repeating over and over again, incessantly, that then begins to create that feeling of restlessness in the background. But seldom do we ever question the nature or truth of our thoughts. Seldom do we step back, in other words, and really look at it from a new perspective. So let's do a little experiment. In your mind's eye, picture a copy machine just for a moment. Now imagine that you're about to make a copy. You place the sheet of paper on the glass and you're ready to press the copy button. Now tune into how you're feeling right now and then imagine that very thought or feeling is placed on the copy machine and automatically copied without you even noticing. Thought after thought feeling after feeling. A carbon copy of the original thought over and over again. The restless mind has been conditioned to repeat our thoughts just like that copy machine over and over again. That's when it gets to be so pervasive, in other words it just happens all the time, that we begin to think like where are the thoughts? It's like a skipping record. Even if, even if that's an old metaphor the point is that every thought that we think is picked up by the field, and the field in this case is our body primarily, but it's also everything that we touch, every person, every issue, every challenge that we experience throughout our day. And each day we think between 50 to 60,000 thoughts. That's an incredible amount of thoughts for us to process. The question is, how many of them are original? And research shows that 90% or more of our thoughts and feelings are the same as the day before. That is an, also an incredible statistic. But here's the, the rub. When we perceive things, we're seeing through what we're calling unconscious filters. In other words, when you see this picture, you see that lens that's being held there, we are typically looking through these unconscious filters of the restless mind throughout our day. In other words, we're not seeing life as it truly is. We're perceiving it through these filters. So are we seeing things in our everyday life clearly or through a filter that's stopping us, that's holding us back from actually realizing or experiencing life itself? As you step back and notice and ask yourself, what really happened? Was I really listening? Was I truly present? And you become the observer 
something begins to shift. This is where you become more aware and more conscious and step into the present moment. You see, true solutions lie outside of our conscious awareness. And all our thoughts derive from either memory, in other words, from the past, or inspiration, which is here right now in this present moment. And notice that I capitalized the word inspiration. Thoughts from memory are neither thoughts from memory are either negative or they're positive. Negative thoughts, I've created a phrase called NRMs, which means negative reinforced memories. Those are the thoughts and the memories that are repetitively thought over time and they become stressful thoughts and it creates NRMs, in other words, like neural nets and neural pathways in your mind that the moment some trigger goes off, you go into a negative memory. But there's another kind, and those are positive reinforced memories. Now, those have inspiration. Those have connection to the present moment and to who you truly are. And the real key is, is that when you're inspired, you're unstoppable because you're back into the now. The problems begin to dissolve from the past, and your imagined things that might not go right begin to dissolve into the future as well because you're in the present moment. There's this thing of that's called the unquestioned assumption. Things like, I don't have enough, whether it be money or love or time. We've all been stressed by these kinds of thoughts. I need more, and you fill in the blank, in order to get. I never have enough time to, and you fill in the blank. These are the unquestioned assumptions that often many of us think in the background. These are unconscious. That's the other challenge that we're having here. And here's a big one. That's just the way it is. In other words, no matter how hard I try, that's just the way it is. No matter what I do, it doesn't seem to work. But when you step back, maybe things begin to change. Because by rising above your mind, you tap into a higher level of awareness. And as you begin to tap into your heart's wisdom, things really begin to shift. So take a nice deep breath now as you listen to my voice and just try a little experiment. Place your hand on your heart. Take a nice deep breath. The moment you do that, you begin to tap into your heart's wisdom. And that begins to be an inflection point. In other words, a new beginning. Stepping into this moment where everything begins to shift back into the now. So, step back and notice. And listen to your heart. And everything begins to shift and change in that moment. So watch for the next video on living free of the mind, and thanks so much. Aloha. Paul Bauer.